Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are fantastic. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. It is so good to see you guys. And I always appreciate you all taking a little bit of time out of your day to come sit with me and just listen to what the Lord is saying, you know, during that time frame. And so, guys, I have a prophetic word for you today. This is a this is a beautiful prophetic word from the Lord today. And I am really, 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 really really, really excited to give you what he's saying, what God is saying in this hour, okay? The Lord is saying that you are now ready for the rewards. Let me repeat this again. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord is saying that you are now ready for the rewards. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, so guys, before we get into this word, let's go ahead and pray right now. Father God, we ask that you come into the room. We invite you into the atmosphere. Holy Spirit, we invite you among us, Lord God. And we ask that you open up our hearts and our minds to receive the word that you have for us today. We ask, Lord God, that you will use us in a mighty way. We thank Thank you, Lord God, for waking us up today to give us the opportunity to fellowship with one another. Father God, I am your beloved and I love you. And I want nothing more than to honor and to respect you. So right now, Lord God, I am asking you to come inside of me, to use me as your vessel, Lord God. Not my words, not my thinking, not my flesh, Lord God, but your words. Let your words come forth. Father God, we come together to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Father God, we ask that as we are fellowshipping right now with this broadcast, we're going to cast Satan out right now. We're going to cast that monitoring spirit out right now. Now we're going to cast out whatever wicked prayers and whatever wicked uh, sorcery that is coming against the people, against this ministry, against this broadcast. We're going to ask, Lord God, that you cast it out in the name of Jesus. We bind and rebuke you, Satan. You have no authority. You have no power. You have no jurisdiction in the presence of the saints or the most high God. And so we ask, Lord God, that you come into the room and that you keep us and that we're able to give you all the glory at all times. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that is the prayer for our broadcast today. So listen, guys, um, the Holy Spirit has been ministering to me um, a lot lately, but this word right here really brought me to tears. It, 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 it just brought me to tears, not tears of unhappiness, but tears of joy because as the Holy Spirit was ministering to me, guys, about this word, it's, 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 it's so familiar. It's happening in my own life. Um, many of the things that the Holy Spirit was really ministering to me about are things that I myself, right, have been enduring, have been dealing with, have been experiencing, and I am still now encountering these things in my life. And in addition to that, guys, I got to tell you, the blessings that the Lord is dishing out to me right now are in overflow. I got to tell you guys, I'm not bragging. I'm just testifying that the money is coming from everywhere. This money coming from places to me that I've never even thought possible. There are doors opening for me that I didn't even think that I could even walk through. Hallelujah. There are things that are happening in my family right now that I did not expect to happen. And so God has literally opened up the windows of heaven for me and my family, right? So so, so with that being said, guys, I know that this word is going to truly bless many of you. What I'm about to say to you is going to bless you because God is saying that now you are ready for the rewards. He's saying that. So guys, you remember the last video I recorded, um, The Holy Spirit Has a Secret. Remember that video? I just did that one. And in that video, I mentioned to you guys that the Lord said that he was proud of you. The Lord said that he, he, he was pleased with you because you did something and you overcame it and you did it with a pure heart. Well, guys, that is the truth. OK, God meant what he said when he said that he was proud of you. Hallelujah. OK. And also I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, reap what you sow. Reap what you sow. You are going to reap what you sow. So when I first heard Holy Spirit say that, guys, I got a little confused because typically, you know, for me, I'm going to speak for myself. 
you know, when I hear that phrase, I'm thinking about evil. You know, I'm thinking about, you know, wrongdoing, you know, stuff that I may have done to someone or in a situation, you know, Proverbs chapter five, it talks about how the evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. Um, Galatians talks about, um, chapter six talks about um god will not be mocked and you're going to reap what you sow you know i was thinking that so i was kind of confused but then holy spirit said no wait a minute i need you to when i say reap what you sow i don't mean reap what you sow in evil i mean reap what you sow in a sense of giving hallelujah or sowing in righteousness okay god said child of god that with all of the trials and tribulations you have endured so far he now has evidence that you are ready for the rewards the lord said that your wilderness your test your suffering have matured you in him and so now you are ready for greater things in him why child of God because in the face of slander and persecution you survive God says that some of you have been dealing with mockery on your job you've been dealing with mockery in your church in your house you you didn't curse the people who mocked you God says that you've loved you've loved so hard you you loved selfishly and, and, and the people that you love don't even love you back uh, God says that a few of you have even blessed your enemies with a smile, you know, with a prayer, with a good deed. God said that you continue to serve him even in the midst of jealousy, even in the midst of people being envious towards you, people being bitter towards you, people hating you, this hatred coming against you. God says that your faith was a little bit shaken at times, but it was never removed. You still had that mustard seed faith. You still held on to the mustard seed faith. He says that you've sown into people that would never return the favor to you. God said that he even seen you, he even saw you belittle yourself for the sake of another person's reputation. Put yourself at the bottom of the barrel just so that somebody else can look good. God said he saw that. And God says he even saw your heart, Jesus, when you repented for your sins. And God is saying that for that child of God, he is well pleased. He is well pleased. He is proud of you, okay? And so God wants to take you higher because of all of, the, all of the things that you've endured. He says, no more will he allow you to minimize who you are in him. No more will he allow for you to minimize who you are in Jesus Christ. He needs for you to step out in faith. He needs for you to follow him without fear. God wants you to have confidence in your ability to walk in abundance and not have not one regret because you're doing it. God says abundance, abundance, abundance. He's meaning that in abundance, God is saying that he is going to reward you. He's rewarding you with tangible things, you know, um, stable health, uh, financial increase, elevation, favor, success in marriage, career, ministry, hallelujah. And God is also saying that as he's releasing these blessings into your life, child of God, he wants you to remember that there will be jealousy. There will be naysayers. There will be people who are going to try to come against you because they see the things that he's doing in your life. They're going to try to make it seem like you're being prideful or you're being arrogant or um, you're full of yourself because they see what God is doing in your life. But the Lord is saying that he, he, he wants you to never mind that. Let him take care of that. God is saying that he's going to be your protector and your vindicator. Why? Because he chose you. He chose you to give the rewards to. He chose you to give the tangible blessings to. Hallelujah. Okay. And God is saying that his word cannot come back void. I think about Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 54, 15. It says, behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. God is saying that in this hour, as he's releasing the rewards in this word, that 
whoever gathers against you, whoever tries to come for you, he is going to take care of them. He's going to deal with the situation. That is what God is saying. God says he wants you to receive your rewards with confidence and knowing that he is the one that gave it to you. You didn't get it by yourself. He gave it to you. Okay. And so with that being said, God is going to cover you. God is going to cover you because he wants you to fulfill the mission. He wants you to fulfill the assignment that he has placed on your life. Why? Simply because of the things that I just said. You have proven loyalty to, to him. You know, you, you've gone through the fire. You've dealt with some things and you've held on to him even in the face of adversity. And for that reason, God is saying that you are ready. Hallelujah. You are ready for the rewards. Okay, guys. Woo! Jesus, what a powerful word. Hallelujah. God says the time has arrived. It's time for you to receive your rewards. Okay. Receive your rewards in Jesus name. Remember guys, if you have any questions about a prophetic word, test the spirit. I always tell you guys to test the spirit. I have a video in the um, description box that you guys can watch that will give you some tips on how to test the spirit. People of God, I love you so much. And I thank you for taking the time to come and sit with me. Remember, we are here on purpose to glorify God in Jesus holy name. And and I appreciate you guys joining Shanika Byers United for Christ and subscribing and also sharing this video with someone that you think needs to hear it, okay? Have a blessed day, guys, and I'll see you guys, Lord willing, on Thursday, okay? Love you. Bye.